Hey everyone, I hope you had a good three-day weekend, uh, Memorial Day, um, solemn time to remember those that have uh, given it all to defend our country. And um, it is a time to enjoy, in my case, baseball game yesterday. Um, had a chance to go up to Chicago, see the Cubs and the Rays. Unfortunately, uh, since I'm not a Cubs fan and I do like the Rays, the Rays got beat one nothing. So, but anyway, um, let's talk a little Anheuser Busch, shall we? A little bit of Bud Light. Um, this is from Outkick.com. Bud Light sits untouched in stores over Memorial Day weekend. This is from David Hookstead over at Outkick. I love Outkick.com. Clay Travis, you have done wonders with your website. Just saying. People sucking down cold beers over Memorial Day weekend didn't seem to have much interest in Bud Light. Gee, I wonder why that is. Bud Light has been facing intense pressure and scrutiny ever since the company made the mind-boggling decision to team up with you guessed it, Mr. Dylan Mulvaney. At this point, ordering a Bud Light is tantamount to treason in the eyes of many people. You, you just can't do it. And people partying during Memorial Day weekend definitely didn't seem to have any interest at all in bringing Bud Light to different festivities. The Daily Caller shared a photo that really set the tone. There was enough Bud Light to get a small town drunk. But it sat untouched. Gathering dust while other options were picked clean. If you're doing what we're doing today, drinking ice colds and grilling with your family and friends with an American flag nearby, do us a solid and share a pic of your local beer aisle. That's from the Daily Caller. However, the tweet from the caller was far from the only example. There were plenty of examples floating around social media of Bud Light not being moved for the holiday weekend. Let me play this little YouTube video here. end caps of Bud Light, Budweiser down here. Boycott's going awesome, guys. Look at striking at the heart of the beast. The dragon's going down. I love it. What they don't realize is they've woken a sleeping giant, and that giant is coming alive. The government is taking notice that they pushed it too far. The woke agenda is subsidized by big government. They're the ones pushing it. They're the ones penalizing companies that don't push the rainbow, that don't push the pride, that don't push Satanism. It's big government. Big companies get a rating likened unto a credit score. The higher it is from that community, from those agencies, the more they get government kudos and the more they can deal in society. But, oh, if you don't promote what they want you to promote, guess what? You're dead in the water you're gonna go out of business. They'll find something against you. They'll stick the IRS on you. Right now, Bud Light has a promotion. They'll give you $15 back. So this beer is gonna cost you $2 plus tax. That's how desperate they are. We've struck at the bottom line. We've struck them where it hurts in the pocketbook. They're paying the price for their foolishness, for Dylan Mavaney. Oh, by the way, men, it's not cool to wear girls clothing, ever. Getting some tough. Now this tweet here is from Courtney Holland. Bud Light selling for free. I went to my local Albertsons in Las Vegas yesterday, and they're selling it for only nine ninety seven, with the Albertsons digital coupon along with the rebate for up to fifteen dollars. Wow, they're paying you to take it off the shelves. Despite being offered up for free, the Bud Light remained fully stocked. Go woke, go broke. This is from Terrible. An 18 pack of Bud Light is now selling for $2.99. The description is real. In Kentucky, we'll get a load of this picture here. See, it's fully stocked in Kentucky. The latest sales data indicates Bud Light sales were down nearly 30% compared to a year ago. That's not just bad, 
It's a disaster nobody could have envisioned before the Dylan Mulvaney disaster. You could spend decades building a brand and destroy it with one Instagram promo. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Outkicks Anthony Ferris also had his own experience confirming all the photos going viral. He attended three Memorial Day weekend parties, what a weekend, and didn't see a single Bud Light at any of them. While I definitely didn't hit up a trio of parties, shout out to Growing Old, I also didn't see a single Bud Light in any of my Bud Light ventures. People are simply choosing beer brands that don't inject woke politics into their alcohol selections. Pretty simple. As for Bud Light, we'll see if the company ever recovers. But the lack of Memorial Day weekend sales tells you everything you need to know. Nobody could have envisioned it a year ago. But here we are. Go woke, go broke. And that's exactly what's going to happen. I mean, you have to realize that Budweiser made a big deal releasing their first quarter results. But that was free Dylan Mulvaney. Their second quarter results in August. Those are going to be an utter disaster for Anheuser-Busch. So just thought I'd bring this one up to you guys. Uh, some more Bud Light news. And um, if you would, comment down below. Tell me what you think. Um, still, still out buying a Bud Light? Or are you going for something else like a Yingling? Um, so feel free to comment down below again. Uh, please like this video, share, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet and you like the content that I'm putting out, hit that subscribe button. Also get noted, hit the notification bell to get notified when my content is uploaded here on a daily basis. Um, not only to YouTube, but you can also catch me on, um, Rumble and over on Odyssey. And even if you don't like the content, you want to hear a different point of view, hear a different opinion, subscribe anyway. So that's all I have for right now, folks. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. And I will see you later.